What is up everybody? Joe Everest, the fence expert. Recently we did some testing with an expanding foam product to see how it would work when we're using steel post when we're installing wood fences. If you watch that video, then you know the results. We got a little bit of wobble in the post. They weren't exactly as firm as we would hope for. If you haven't seen that video, we'll go ahead and tag it at the end of this video. This is Joe Everest, the fence expert. My family's been perfecting their way of building fence for over 60 years, three generations. While there's more than one way to build a fence, I'm here to share with you our way. My biggest takeaway from all the feedback we received is there are a lot of people who have had results similar to ours in that the post simply isn't as firm in the ground as it should have been, which led us to the question, how do you fix it? If you set an entire yard's worth of fence posts, you've probably got 30 or 40 posts in your yard. Digging them up and resetting them isn't really a solution that's effective or efficient. So you gotta fix them in the hole. What do you do? How do you fix it? Well, we're gonna find out. And also, if you stick around to the end, we're gonna show you what happens if you activate a bag of this expanding foam, but don't cut the corner. It's gonna be explosive. After reaching out to other fencing professionals who have had similar results, it seems like there's a common solution between all of them, and that is to take this same expanding foam mix they used initially, place it back in the hole, place dirt over top of it. And what this does is it forces the foam down into all of the voids, and once it hardens, it's really gonna firm up this post. So, let's see how it works. All right guys, like I said, we're gonna use the same product to fix this as we used to set it. It's a Sika Pro Select Fence Post Mix. Now before we get started, let's go over the instructions. The main thing is to make sure you have everything you need before you get started, because once you start this process, there is no pause button. Now we're gonna mix it for 15 seconds, and the 15 seconds is very important. It actually has a warning that says, caution, do not exceed the 15 second mixing time as the material in the pouch will expand, causing the pouch to burst and spray contents, resulting in possible bodily injury and property damage. So we will not mix this any longer than 15 seconds. Once that happens, we're gonna clip the corner and pour it evenly in the hole. Now that's where the directions stop, but we're gonna take it a step further. We're actually gonna place dirt on the hole, which is gonna force this foam down into all the voids, all the nooks and crannies it can get into. Now, obviously, this, po this bag says it's made for an eight inch diameter hole, which is what we have here, but up to 36 inches deep. Obviously, we don't have anywhere near 36 inches here. We have six or eight inches. So we're only gonna use a little bit of the product. So we need a plan with what to do with the rest of it. We have a handy dandy Lowe's bucket here. The rest of this product is gonna go into that bucket so that as it expands, it's not gonna make a big mess. All right, here we go. We're gonna start by following the arrows, bursting point for package B into package A. Shake it back and forth, mix it. It's really hot. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the corner, put the foam in the hole, put the rest of the bag in the hole in the bucket, place dirt over the post so the Foam goes nice and deep into all the nooks and crannies. Then we're gonna check our plumb. Yep, make sure the post is ready to go. Make sure this is sealed. Now we move the post, check the plumb, we're ready to go. So now all the foam is gonna work its way down into all the nooks and crannies. There might be a little bit of that foam that works its way up through the dirt, but we can always trim that off as needed. Now, we just sit and wait. The instructions say to allow three to five minutes for the mixture to expand fully and after two hours for it to cure. You can see this foam is really wanting to expand. It's also important to wear gloves. Really sticky stuff. Now, if you happen to get it on your skin, it's not caustic, it's not gonna burn you, but it is a pain to clean off. All right, so we'll give it a couple hours. We'll come back and we'll see how it did. All right, guys, we're back. Now the packaging says to wait at least two hours, let everything uh, finish expanding and hardening. Uh, it's been a little bit more than two hours, about two and a half hours since uh, we last were here, since we poured it. And guys, this post is firm. Uh, it's not, if you'll remember prior to setting this, the whole post wobbled. You know, there's quite a bit of voids around the post, letting it move quite a lot. Like I said, this post is firm. There's no more movement here than I would expect to see with concrete. So. I would feel fine if this were a fence post that we were gonna string fence on, I'd absolutely be fine uh, stringing fence on it, hanging a privacy fence, you know, whatever we'd be doing with it. Uh, yeah, I'd say it worked. 
We also had a bit of a learning lesson during this experiment, and that is you really have to be careful with how much of this foam you use. We used about half a packet on resetting this post, and quite obviously, too much. But it's a good learning lesson, right? Small amounts can lead to massive expansion. So what do you do when you have foam above the post? It's something we see a lot with people that are using the foam. Now this foam is hard. I mean, it's, it's solid. But as you know, if you've watched one of my other videos, one of my top five tools I keep in my truck, battery operator reciprocating saw. Cuts through it really easily. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and cut this at grade, put a little dirt over it, Make sure the uh, grass will seed once the rains come. No one will ever know that the excess foam was here. Ultimately, what I think it boils down to is this product works well under the right conditions. Initially, when we did the first testing, the temperature was between 50 and 60. It was misting that day, so it's kind of cold and damp. Today, it's in the mid 90s, hasn't rained in quite a while. The ground's really dry and really warm. And I think that plays a large role in it. So when we're looking at the product, I think we really need to understand that it works well in ideal conditions. But if we're talking about building fence year round, or at least through the spring, summer, fall months, this probably isn't gonna be a great product to rely on consistently throughout the year. Just knowing that temperatures are gonna change, moisture content of the ground is gonna change. We don't always have ideal conditions to build fence in, but if it's warm and the ground is dry, quite obviously, the product works pretty well. All right, in the beginning of the video, I told you at the end of the video, we're gonna shake up one of these bags, not cut the corner and see what happens. But before we do that, we have to get one thing straight. You do not do this at home. This is a controlled environment. There isn't property that can be damaged. There isn't anyone around that can be damaged when this thing explodes. Do not do this at home. This is a controlled environment in a controlled situation. That being said, Let's go check it out. All right, I want to re-emphasize, do not try this at home. The packaging has several warnings that says if you do this, it may explode. And if it explodes and gets on property, it could damage it. If it explodes near someone, it could absolutely hurt them. Do not do this at home. Now let's see what happens. We're gonna burst it, shake it. as you are. I've seen several videos of these things blowing up. Obviously Sika has done an incredible job in making sure their packaging is safe to avoid any potential damage or bodily injury. I was really hoping for an explosion but kudos to Sika for creating an entirely safe product. <laughs> Till next time guys thanks for watching.